Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Hearts of Iron 4 campaign as the Communist States of America. Well, right now we're the United States, but communism is on the rise. It is now a, the ideolo ideology of 42% of our dipshits, so that's nice. Um, yeah, uh, first of all I should address some comments. Once again, I have said before that I will do a Norway campaign once I get a bit better at the game, so don't worry, we'll get there. <laughs> Calm down. Um, other than that though, I got a comment telling me to, well, suggesting anyways, to form my own faction rather than join the common turn. Uh, I could do that. Um, don't know what would be the smartest thing though. Um, I guess having my own faction would allow me to wage war independently of the Soviet Union. Um, whether or not that would be desirable though, I am unsure. It depends, because if I'm going to be waging war upon the United Kingdom, I sort of want to drag the Soviet Union along for the ride. And uh, I think being in a faction together would sort of help that. Uh, I am not entirely sure though. Uh, and also, I would need if I was to make my own faction, I'll need to find someone to make a faction with, I guess. Um, I guess if I can convert some uh, other American country to communism, maybe we can go be communist together. There are opportunities indeed. Anyways, we're still waiting, I guess, for our equipment to exist, which it doesn't really right now. Well, we are making equipment. But uh, we still have a deficit that I want to get rid of. Even if it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. I mean, our, our units are still supplied for the most... Yeah, they're fully supplied. Fighting strength 99%. So I don't really understand. I guess the thing that uh, having no supply, I guess that sort of prevents you from building units. Although I might want to build some units regardless. I think maybe an armor division wouldn't be that dumb. Uh, once again, we have jack shit when it comes to army experience. Although I... Oh yeah, that's right, we don't have any political power. Maybe after we get air support, we'll save up some political power and we'll get ourselves a theorist. Uh, let's see here. What? We don't have a... And just a straight up infantry theorist? No, never mind, here he is. Uh, he's just called something different. Oh, fuck me, that's expensive. But this is a way, potential way anyways, to gain some um, army experience. Sadly, there's no cheaper dipshits, so that sucks. Actually, never mind, this... Ah, uh, he's expensive as well. Okay, then. Mobile warfare. I don't know, I'll look into that some other time. For now, we'll just chill. Okay, we just finished construction too, good on us. Let's get some uh, some dragons. B23 dragon. I want to start a production line at some point, making tactical bombers or whatever they're called. Of course, I still don't really understand the difference between tactical and strategic bombers, but uh, I don't know, can't be that complicated, can it? We just got ourselves. well, I already forgot. Did I really just forget? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's look into what we can get next. Um, we are kind of limited, aren't we? Cannot have this. Well, I guess we will... Quarry Bureau of Ships. Just straight up a bunch of cheaper naval doctrine stuff. Although, getting that, that could be useful. Uh, I mean, all of this is potentially. Useful. I don't know. Let's do. Let's fund the navy. Though I don't know. That that seems like a thing we can do later. I am lost. I think we'll do carrier primacy, because that'll give us some uh, the opportunity to get some carrier models. So we're gonna do aircraft carriers, I guess, which sounds like we would need, like if we want to invade overseas, people. You. We should get some of that. Um, I mean, look at all these boats we have made since the start of the game. Oh, the Balshack. It's a lot of destroyers. Do we really need that many destroyers? I don't know. 
Let's look into production here. Yeah, we're spending a lot of effort. Let's, let's get some submarines instead. So let's ditch a bunch of this stuff and let's uh, start building like all them submarines. Yeah. Actually, yeah, let's let's get rid of this even more. Let's, I don't know. We have a lot, we need more heavy cruisers, I think. Well, now we will see if that's a good idea or not. Uh, the Hindenburg has died. Who knows? Horrible. Claiming 35 lives. Pause if you want to read. Oh, the humanity. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. So it's on a question of time now before Japan and China goes to war. So that will be interesting for them, I guess. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, so we have a decision ahead of us. Uh, the May Revolution has just popped up, which allows us potentially to trigger a civil war. We also got the class conflict divide the United States thingy, which reduces un national unity, but it bumps up popularity for uh, the commies. I think we will say the revolution is inevitable and the inevitable can wait. Hope I am still hoping for a coup rather than a civil war. Don't want to waste resources on civil war. Um, and now that we have over half of the people being communists, surely... Surely a coup is only... Well, ho hopefully a coup will happen soon. That's what I'm trying to say. Once again, this might have been a dumb idea, but... Um, I don't know. We'll keep hoping. We just finished concentrated industry. I think it's about time we get some land doctrine going. Let's get delay, which is going to take a while to research, but uh, I think it will be worth our time to get that eventually. Another tech that I've already forgotten about is also finished. Let's get a uh, chunk of air doctrine, which is going to be much quicker than the land doctrine because we have a bonus because of our dank meme technology, but uh, so be it. Oh, uh, here we go. The communists demand referendum. Marxist ideas took root in the United States a long time ago. But we have gained much more widespread support lately. The movement has spread outside political theory and into political practice, with disgruntled workers and even some high-profile celebrities voicing support. The communists call this class consciousness. The Democratic Party calls it a fast calls it a fast track to rights and treason. Showing little faith in Franklin Roosevelt being willing to implement the reforms they demand, the more vocal communists have called for an immediate referendum to have the current government removed. While we might be able to reverse the momentum of this mass movement, failure to do so will doubtlessly re result in the more popular communist method of removal, revolution. And here we are, I think we just got our coup. Um, an American must be stopped. Wouldn't that be a shame? It's not like we have any political power to spend. Small unity. So this will permanently ditch or reduce our uh, national unity, but I think that's fine. Uh, the referendum is preferable to a bloody revolt. Let's speed the game down a bit. So now we will have a referendum. Shall the United States be communist? Let's see what the people want. The people have decided that communism is the way to go. And we are now the communist states of America. Got our awesome flag. This really looking creepy old dude. <laughs> um, and yeah. Your brother, daily change. Hopefully we'll just get more and more communist uh, ideal ideology in our stuff. So yeah, there we go. Now we're now communists. We are now the communist states of America. Uh, that didn't change much. Not, imme not immediately anyways. Can we invade neighbors now? Because that would be good. No? Need world tension at 100%. Yeah, undisturbed isolation. We need to get rid of that before we can do anything. Uh, cannot replace. Because tension... Okay, so sadly, becoming communist has not ditched these silly rules causing issues. 
So we need to wait for tension to grow before we can uh, have a good time, I guess. However, I think there is a... yeah, this one. Mobilization law to volunteers only. Uh, okay, no, this is a different category. Shit, that sucks. Yeah, it seems like we're going to be on the sidelines for a little bit longer, just sitting around building up our stuff. So we really need the Germans and, like, if they Poland already! God damn it! I know it's still some time until historically they did so, but surely, surely we can make this happen. I need that tension, man, if I am to do stuff. However, this does open up... Well, yeah, once we have carrier uh, primacy, we will go and influence our neighbors throughout the Americas. And that'll be good fun. Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the globe. Quite an achievement. Not an achievement in the game, though. Which would have been fun if it was. Let's get a military factory. Just some random place. It's all good. Uh, which, okay, there we go. Now we have another military factory. How are we doing on logistics? We can really do with some more tanks. We really, really could. So let's see if we can get ourselves some more tanks, eh? Yeah, we got all the resources we need. My tank too. I actually started producing some of them. Uh, it takes a while, of course, because we're not producing that many tanks. Uh, but we are getting closer to this, uh, uh, to getting a surplus here. Oh, there we go. The Japanese are invading. You guys have fun. Now then, let us start uh, influencing our neighbors. I think we're going to start with South America, because that's where we're going to get the most daily communism support. But I guess it would be useful to get the Mexicans and the Canadians on our side. But in a way, I would I would sort of prefer to just straight up conquer those guys, and then have the southern South America as allies instead. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So it was, you can see how the um, the effect this will have on nations have changed. Wait, Paraguay, are you already communists or socialist at least? If so, we should be friends. Yeah, they are communists. There we go. Want to join a faction? No? Neither they or we are at war. Our attention, probably an opinion. Ooh. Well, we don't have enough uh, power to improve relations, but this could be an opportunity here. Regardless, though, let's finally get that communism going. Uh, I think we're going to start with South America, just because that's the biggest amount of nations. And the most important nations as well. So we'll do that first. Of course, hopefully we'll be doing all of them at some point. So this is going to... Oh, hello! Tension! What happened? Who's invading? Oh yeah, of course, the Japanese are. But none of them are... None of them are making... 20% tension on their own. Although surely Japan should be close. They're not quite up to 20% though. So I do... Oh, never mind, we can do this. Yeah, Japan is an offensive war. Okay, good. That will give us volunteers only. And then we can do this thing. Change economy law to isolation, which grants consumer goods. Okay, looking through this, I don't think there is any real reason to change to these things. While they would improve our policies, none of them will let us do the thing that really matters, which is invade our neighbors so that we can get war bonds. So I think we're just going to keep uh, working on the Americas, spreading that communism. Here we go, we have formation flying. Let's get, let's get a dive bombing, what the hell. Go, go. Okay, we just got a new type of plane. Let us start working on the SX class. Which takes forever, but uh, being able to produce that early, I think is good. Well, actually, is that uh, is there a time limit to that or a um, 
Is that... Yeah, that's actually 1940. Never mind. Change my mind. Stop researching that. Do something else. Battleships. Oh, fuck battleships. We can just outproduce people, surely. Now, let us instead then get... All of this is like... Yeah, we're doing good on tech, though. I, we can, I can say that for sure. Uh, that is definitely something we're doing. Because we are getting to that point now. Where many of the techs are um, locked, be no, well, not locked behind, but they are extra expensive. So that's the thing. Okay, I've gone ahead and set up a production line for Warhawks. So hopefully we can get ourselves some uh, new. Sh well, yeah, this is going to upgrade the um, uh, the stuff. Our current planes. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Okay, so now we just got South America, so now they should start uh, enjoying some uh, communist influence. We also got some sweet, sweet political power. What I think I actually... I actually will go for war pro propaganda. Uh, the reason being is that if we get to uh, prepare intervention, we can get isolation. And with the current power we have stored up right now, we can then, I think, bump that up from isolation to partial mobilization because, the fact, because of the fact that we are communist. And as far as I understand it, it is the fact that we are uh, isolationists. That, are pre that is the thing that's preventing us from invading our neighbors. So if we were to get this up to mobilization, I think we might be able to invade Canada. Although if I get the option, I will probably invade Mexico. Just because, um, well, invading Canada would sort of bring in the UK, and I'm not quite ready for that yet. Okay, we just got some more air doctrine. Let's actually uh, let's actually get some more ships. We are the United States, after all. We do need a decent navy. We have a discount for carriers, but it's going to take forever because we are early. So I say we go for destroyer. Actually, let's do. Let's do cruisers. We're not building any cruiser right now. Well, here's the thing I don't know. D do cruisers upgrade after uh, a while? Like, if I was to re... Actually, I need to know that. So, I'm gonna go the Sims class. Um, and I want to see if my cruisers will upgrade themselves. Or if I... Uh, or if the old ones will stay old. Because that's sort of relevant. Oh, dragon has been awoken. Or researched. One of the two. <laughs> Let us get... I don't know, maybe just more boats? I guess we can get a heavy fighter. Though I don't really have the, too many resources to build any of those right now, though. I guess we can go some... Uh, get some anti-tank artillery. Once again, we got a discount for it. Free civilian factories. Uh, let's use that for... Let's actually get a military factory. Military factory in Tennessee. Let's Line up some other factories as well, just so that I don't get that pop-up all the time. Oh, what, what just finished? Who knows? Ah, artillery did. Okay. Uh, we cannot go to improved artillery quite yet. How is land doctrine doing? We are working on it, but it's just taking a while. I guess we do this. That extra five reinforcement doesn't hurt. If, you, if you're wondering why I'm not modifying my government, it's because I want to wait. I want to... Wait until I can unlock uh, the things that I really, really need. And all of these advisors, well, they're m actually, if I can get myself a, a do, yes, political power gain, this is actually totally what I need. Because that'll finally let me actually, oh my god, why did I not do that earlier? Holy shit, I goofed. I done goofed, people. Pro tip, get that guy, like, as fast as you can. Fuck me, that would have been totally... It would have been totally worth to just get one of these early. If they would have meant that I... In order to get the power, that is. Just to get this guy. Because this actually means we're gaining power now. Which is super valuable! That might actually let me improve relations with Paraguay. Potentially start a faction. I don't know, though. Right now, I want to focus on some other things. And this is interesting, the Republican Spanish are actually fighting back, it looks like. 
They're at least not dying. Uh, let's get prepare intervention. So let's take a look at our loss. Yeah, now we have volunteers only. That really does bump up our manpower and makes us a lot more formidable. But what we really need to get rid of this is this undisturbed isolation. Because you can see it has a 100% generate war coal tension limit. So if we can get rid of that, we might be able to invade Mexico. I mean, who needs a wall when you can conquer the Mexicans? I mean, if you can conquer our way down here, we can build a, a much smaller wall. So maybe then building a wall wouldn't be so unrealistic. National focus completed. Prepare intervention. Good. That gives us things, which is always useful. I do enjoy uh, things. Also set up some new research. Um, so we're now doing maintenance company in radio detection, which means of course we have finished some of the other techs. I don't think I need to show all this. I'm essentially like I'm not, I'm not focusing on a specific tech at this point. I'm really just researching anything I, like all the techs I can find. As uh, we're getting to a point where we're just waiting for. 39 to come around, although it is now 38. Which actually opens up a bunch of stuff here. That'll have to be a priority. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, 8 days and we can start working on that. Regardless though, here we go. So now we have isolation. But... You cannot replace isolation. Why? Because we need more... Fuck you, game. Damn it. Okay, my plan has failed. I thought we could do that. Why not? Like, why, why, why do I have these rules? Okay, so we have to wait until this thing. We need to wait for 40% world tension. Or we need to be at war. But I don't think there's any good way for us to get to war. Uh, I mean, we could try and go all the way down here, but now that wouldn't work either, would it? Because uh, we have to wait until 1942. So that also doesn't work. Okay, well, I don't know, maybe if some dumb civil war breaks out in... Like, if we get this thing, which lets us intervene. I don't know, there's stuff down here we might want to work on. Star civil war, yeah. Well, let's start working on people. Neighbors is not a priority. Let's get the Caribbean Sphere. We have delay. Uh, I really would like this too, but I think we need some of this infantry shit. Proved infantry equipment? Yes. Let's get that. Alright, we're now finally in the green. I don't know if I've mentioned that already. I am very forgetful. Regardless, now that we actually have stuff, I think we can afford a little bit of exercise. What do you guys think? Oh, I think so. So let's get some exercise going here. Missing equipment production. Yeah, I mean, really, we're, we're really just producing tanks at this point. That's why we're spamming everything in, because I'm actually recruiting uh, tank divisions. Oh, California, that'll work. On the border of Mexico. Yeah, you better shit your pants, Mexico. It's your duty. So now we can get some of that sweet, sweet exercise. Although, actually... We will soon have enough political power to get a dude that will give us even more experience. So we just finished the technology for the Sims class. So we're gonna... ...replace this thing. You will lose 70... yeah, that's fine. We do need the upgrades. Um, however, I just noticed we are not actually building any... <laughs> we're not building any carriers, so that's not exactly brilliant. So let's make sure we get some of that, eh? Decommission. Don't know if that was smart, but we did it. <laughs> okay, let's do this then. Uh, none. Well, let's... Uh, yeah, we don't need that many submarines. Come on, guys. Let's be, real be realistic here. Oh, Jesus, that takes a long time. <laughs> Two years? Oh, no, 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 that's not okay. We... No, no more submarines. No more of any of this crap. I need me some fucking carriers. Mankuku has capitulated. It's a great victory for China. Was I think that was these guys down here or maybe up here? I am not entirely sure. Regardless, good for them. I keep getting this pop-up. I have no idea what that is. Division reinforcement. Do we not have artillery? Fuck you, we have artillery. It's right there. 
What are you talking about? It's kind of running out though. But everything is running out. There's no way we can keep up with the mons, really. Oh, here we go. Uh, Caribbean Sphere. Okay. France pursues nuclear technology, really. Well, maybe we should work on that too. I don't think we can, though. Regardless, the Angelus of Austria. So, here we go. Yeah, that's early. <laughs> that's early. No, that's not early. That's exactly at, well, close, to, I don't know. I don't know the date when it happened. Regardless, if that is what they wish. Ah, that didn't increase tension any, any more than that. Sucks. Uh, yep, we still need 40% for the giant awakens to really get things going. So I guess we'll just keep influencing our neighbors. Let's do Central America. And now we can finally get ourselves on government dipshits. Let's get whoever is going to give us experience. I'm in the wrong category, aren't I? Yep. There is. Here we are. Um, air experience. Now fuck that. Uh, army experience. Here we go. Superior firepower doctrine. Mobile or warfare experts. Now... What is my doctrine? <laughs> I should probably check that before I go and research it. My doctrine. I have superior firepower. Yes, so that's the guy we need then. Let's get superior firepower, dude. Omar Bradley. That's my man. Now we'll be able to get experience. Yeah. Uh, exercise. Well, actually, no, we're getting more from exercise than we're getting from the advisor, but still. So there's a dude in Panama. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do own Panama, don't we? Well, no point in having some random ass boats down here. Maybe there is a point to it, and I just don't know, but I say you will make your way to Mexico. Hey, I just learned about the Add Units button. So, you don't need to make a... G <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> once some of these finish, I'll uh, remove their... Yeah, let's have... Current number deployment line. Let's do 1-1. One, one. One one, and then I'll just add them below this thing by adding unit later on. I think that's I think that's uh, a more smooth way to do it. <laughs> uh, the Munich Agreement. National focus completed. Central America. German demands for the Sudetenland have been accepted. Very, very nice for them. And Poland took this region. Uh, well. Good for you, Poland. Now, I don't know when they're gonna go the next step, because that's what I really need. Get the tension going. No war this year, then. Well, let's pray that it will happen anyways. Okay, so, yeah, we still cannot do the Giant Awaken, sadly. Not enough tension yet. So, I guess we'll just keep working on this stuff so we can get ourselves to Pax Americana. We can modify our government, though, which is sweet. Ooh! 36. If it happens very soon, I will just switch over. Um, more industrialist construction speed. That seems good. Military factory. Monthly opinion. Trade opinion. Nope, I like this one. More industrialist. Skip that. I'll speed up the production of military factories. I guess we can focus a bit on that soon. Uh, once some of these civilian ones are done. I think it's about time we end the episode though. Before we go, uh, let's have a look at some of these Latin American countries. We can see the communist ideology is spreading throughout Latin America. Now that we got our tech, it should start happening here as well. But I guess we'll see more of that the next episode. Cuba. And, uh, well, that's Britain. And that's me, so... <laughs> well... There are nations there, and there, there's some communist influence. It's not a lot, though, of course, because um, uh, the modifier is not that big. But I think it'll be more intense once we get further down here. Well, not the modifier, but... Okay, sorry for just blanking out there, but I uh, noticed that this is actually a way to get a castle's belly, which does allow you to get the giant awakens. 
So if you were to get here very... Like, if you just rushed preemptive intervention... Uh, that does allow you to get this a little bit earlier than you could otherwise, potentially, anyways. And also, I did also notice here that uh, if we do get Pax Americana, it will actually speed up the uh, speed at which communism rises. It'll actually be just as quick then as it was in America. Or for us, it'll be 0 0.10. Uh, regardless though, that's the end of the episode. Thanks so much for watching uh, this episode, and until next time, bye.